uh, ladies and gentlemen, down to, as they might say, the business end of proceedings. Uh, we're going to celebrate tonight's first induction and present the recipient with a memento, as we'll do for all four. And to present the first memento, let me ask Rodney Slack, who was nominated and elected into the Hall of Fame in the first round in 2016. Please give a warm welcome to Rodney Slack. and that's why they voted Paul their Player of the Year more than once. As one of his managers, Roy McFarlane, memorably put it, Paul is the example. Whenever you put the shirt on, you knew exactly what you were going to get from him. But there was much more to Paul's play, whether it was in midfield, in defence, or even on occasion in goal. And work great, immense bravery and cussedness. Despite his modest insistence that his job was merely to win the ball and give it to more gifted performers so they could leave their creative magic, Paul was quick-witted and ingenious, could conjure a defence-splitting pass, and in more than 300 United appearances over eight years, almost a pass in the 50-goal mark. To see Paul burst into the penalty area and hurl himself at the ball through a crush of players, and his determination to get on the end of a move was to recognise that he cared deeply about the game, his teammates, the club and its supporters. Paul arrived at the Abbey via Oxford United and Lincoln City in March 96 and soon made his presence felt. After keeping a clean sheet, stepping in for injured keeper Scott Barrett, in the fourth minute of one game he observed I really like being in the thick of things. <laughs> Nobody was much surprised that being in the thick of things that day included having an eyebrow stitch, a mark of things to come. There was no argument when Roy McFarlane named him club captain with these words. Paul leads by example, as did my old teammate Dave Mackay. He'll go in anywhere and give everything for the team, and he's Cambridge United through and through. Supporters also had a good look at the man behind the player when his daughter Emily, who is here with us this evening, was born 10 weeks prematurely. And Paul set about thanking the staff at Hinchingbrook Hospital by raising funds for the baby care unit. A final glimpse huh, at the real Paul was afforded by the publication of a kit off calendar <laughs> featuring him and his teammates in various states of undress, which his daughters really, really really don't want us to talk about this. <laughs> but we told you he was courageous. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Wallace. Thank 
so I'm going to just double check um, after the Oscars that you read the right card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know to call that card. Um, but, um, but goes without saying, obviously, with um, the players that are currently here, those that were nominated, to even be uh, thought of in the same breath, I'm very, very privileged and uh, to actually get <coughs> nominated, um, humbled and honoured. So thank you, everyone here. Thank you for all the people that voted. This place means the world to me. Always will. Thank you.